Hello and welcome to Blogsprout. I'm LJ and today we're going to look at the WordPress plugins that I use on my websites. So most WordPress sites need some type of SEO plugin and this will provide schema, breadcrumbs, sitemaps, and usually add some optimizations to your content. So I personally like to use Rank Math. It seems to do everything I need. It's free. It does have a paid version that has some extra tools, but from what I've seen, it doesn't seem to impact uh, page speed, which I know there are some SEO plugins that will. So Rank Math is the one that I use and I've seen really good results with. I've also noticed it doesn't over-optimize your content. The score that it provides you for optimizations is relatively reasonable. So the next few plugins we're going to look at are going to help with site speed. So Asset Cleanup is a really good free plugin. It allows you to prevent code from loading on a specific page. So if you have a really code intense plugin or part of a plugin and you're just not using it all that much, you can choose which pages it loads on and doesn't load. So I used to have Elementor, which was only being used on my home page. So I prevented Elementor as the entire plugin to not load except on the home page. So this cut out a huge chunk of code that wouldn't load on my other pages. So images can have a big impact on site speed. So one of the plugins that I use and recommend is Smush. So what that'll do is allow you to lazy load your images so that they don't load until they show up on the content, on the, you know, on the user's content screen. And they'll also optimize and compress the images. I use the free version and there are paid versions that allow you to do some more optimizations. One of those optimizations is to convert the files to a WebP format. And that's just a new and improved image format for the web. So because I didn't purchase the premium version of Smush, I found this free um, converter for media, which converts WebP images from JPEG images. So for site protection, I use WordPress security. So what this does is create a firewall. It does malware scans. It allows you to customize if people are locked out, how many password recovery attempts, how many password attempts. Um, it has a lot of features that help keep your site protected. And there is a premium version, but for most people, the free version will be sufficient to keep your site relatively protected. As you do continue to grow, though, you may need to upgrade your protec protection, firewall, and things like that. <clears throat> so if you've been following my content, you know that I use a lot of numbers in my, um, in my content, and I like to put those numbers in tables. They're really easy to create, and they're really easy to read and scan. So I use WP Table Builder. Um, apparently, Zoic mentions that this particular plugin um, can slow down sites, but I haven't noticed it doing much, much damage, I guess, to my site speed, so I've kept it in. Um, but what I like about it is rather than creating a table on a specific page using the WordPress, um, you know, Gutenberg blocks, I can design and create a table in this plugin and then just use the short code wherever I want on the website. So if you have repeatable content or if you have a particular chart that you want to reuse, you can design it and customize it with a lot of options in the WP Table Builder and put it in your content. Another great idea is to use the WP Table Builder to create, you know, comparison tables for affiliate sites or product boxes that'll have a description, a picture, a title, a button, and you'll just have a little bit more um, flexibility and customization visually than you will on the Gutenberg box. Um, if you so desire, you may choose to have an email list on your site or contact. You can either just provide an email for them to reach out to, or you can use some type of form. And I like using some type of form because it adds another layer of protection for spam and people to kind of get into your um, get into your system. So if you have a an email provider for an email list, such as Send in Blue, um, Constant Contact, I use Send in Blue. <clears throat> 
they usually do have their own plugin and code that can go into individual pages. But I have seen that these typically slow down sites when you put them in. So I've used this contact form by WP Forms. To my experience, it hasn't really slowed down any of the pages, but what it allows you to do is create some type of form that a user can go and fill out, and then it'll send you an email with the information they provided. So this is a very manual process because every email you get, if, you're, if it's an email subscription, that you then have to go into your um, you know, email subscription provider and transfer that contact info. But I wasn't really gaining much traffic um, interested in joining my email list, so it hasn't really been a problem. But there is the option to upgrade to WP Forms Premium, and it'll then save all the responses, and I think it's able to maybe export and then import them into your <coughs> actual pro like email provider. And then the last plugin I use is Calculated Fields Form. So calculators are a great way to get people to come to your channel. If you have a unique calculator that no one else has really created, then you might be able to find yourself ranking. And what Calculated Fields Form, it allows you to put in on the back end um, different equations and sequences that will base the results off of what the user inputs. So for example, you may have a calorie counter. And of course you could have a simple calorie counter where a person just inputs how many calories that they've put in for for the day and compare it to, or just total it. But you could take it a step further and have predefined categories. You could have <clears throat> the average calorie count per serving of a bunch of different fruits. And you could have the user go in, select what type of fruits they've used, and that'll pop out the number of calories that they've likely consumed. So there's a lot of flexibility and customization that you can do with calculated fields forms. So if that's something you want to add to your site, I do recommend this. It's totally free and it's, it's very fast, has no impact on my site speed. So the other thing I want to mention is that these three page speed optimization plugins are likely not needed if you have a Zoic Leap. So a Zoic Leap is a feature within a Zoic if you're a um, a user for their ads, you can get Leap for free and essentially it'll do all these things for you. It'll compress your images, it'll lazy load your images, it'll minify your CSS, and JavaScript, it has a lot of features and I'm just starting to use it on one of my sites because I have recently upgraded to a different theme which is a little bit more compatible with a Zoic Leap. So using a Zoic Leap allows you to take out at least three of these plugins, which should in fact improve your site speed. So this is it. These are the only plugins that I use and recommend. And I don't necessarily use all of these on any of my sites, or I don't use all of them on all of my sites, but I use one of them on at least one of my sites. And personally, I think this is about all you need for many many sites because now that Gutenberg exists with more functionality you can really do a lot more and you can use reusable blocks and you can format things and change the colors that there's so much that can be done without the use of plugins. So if you're interested in looking at these plugins and downloading them. Um, I have the link below with all my recommendations, which also include, you know, themes, content research, ads, images. You can check it out. We'll go eventually go through it in the future. This is just focusing on the plugins. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope you found some value. And this is Blogsprout and I'm LJ and I'll see you in the next video.